Offshore drilling and production involves significant operating costs and technical difficulties. These challenges increase with depth of water, extreme environments, and reservoir pressures. Deep water operations require a safe, effective, dependable solution to ensure reliable return on investment. That solution is the SPAR. A SPAR is a floating offshore platform with drilling, completion, and production capabilities, supporting both dry trees and wet trees in a wide range of deep water applications. Technip has been the industry leader in SPAR development and design from the earliest applications of this technology. With 14 Technip SPARs now in operation around the world, we have the experience and infrastructure to deliver an ideal solution anywhere, on time, and on budget. SPAR technology has progressed through three generations in 15 years, beginning with the classic SPAR, followed by the truss SPAR and the cell SPAR. Of these, the truss SPAR has been the most widely used. Each new SPAR presents an opportunity to refine our techniques and introduce new capabilities, including support for new riser systems, wet trees, tender-assisted drilling, direct vertical access, and more. Our innovations in SPAR technology received industry-wide recognition with the OTC Distinguished Achievement Award in 2005, shared with Kerr McGee. Every SPAR is constructed to meet the specific demands of its intended environment, operational criteria, and associated payload. The most common design is the truss SPAR. The upper end of this SPAR is the hard tank, where void tanks and variable ballast tanks are located. Strakes welded to the outside of the hard tank reduce vortex-induced motion caused by currents around the structure. Below the hard tank are the truss and heave plates. At the bottom is the soft tank, where fixed ballast is installed after the spar is upended. Risers, piping, and umbilicals pass through the spar's center well. Finally, topside facilities are mated to the spar on site, utilizing float-over or heavy-lift vessels. The most important advantages of the spar as a floating production platform are its simplicity, stability, and flexibility. The SPAR's center of gravity is always below its center of buoyancy, so it's inherently stable. This means that the SPAR will not capsize even if it loses every mooring line after the top sides are installed. This stability dramatically improves the SPAR's safety in adverse conditions, up to and including hurricanes and typhoons. The SPAR is a low motion platform which minimizes riser fatigue. The spar is relatively insensitive to water depth. It can accommodate a wide range of topside payloads for a wide variety of applications. The spar features a high degree of reserve buoyancy managed by a simple variable ballast system, pumping water into and out of variable ballast tanks installed at the bottom of the hard tank. Ballast pumps can be fabricated inside the tanks or installed in the access shafts. One strategic option provided by the SPAR is to include production or drilling storage tanks in the hull. This allows smaller topside payloads, which in turn enables a greater variety of topside installation methods. The SPAR's mooring system represents a small share of its overall payload, usually only 3 to 5 percent. The semi-taut mooring system is insensitive to changes in draft, trim, and installation tolerances. Redundancy allows for one missing line to support maintenance, repair, replacement, and incidental breaks. SPARs support both dry tree and wet tree riser solutions. Dry tree risers offer direct access to the well with significant cost savings for drilling and completion operations. SPARs are capable of supporting extremely heavy risers for high pressure, high temperature developments. While the risers on other deep water platforms, such as semi-submersible platforms, are exposed to current and wave action, a spar protects them inside the center well, surrounded by the hard tank. For wet tree solutions, the spar also supports steel catenary risers through flex joints, stress joints, or pull tubes. The spar's low motion minimizes fatigue for steel catenary risers, making them applicable at depths that would not be practical with other floating platforms. SPAR SCRs are also suitable for HPHT applications and sour service requirements. SPARs accommodate multiple drilling options, including pre-drilling, offset drilling, 
tender assisted drilling, platform drilling, and direct vertical access. This flexibility enables operators to optimize their field development costs. Technip has the tools and expertise to meet the ever-changing challenges of frontier oil and gas development. Our experienced engineers have been consistently rated best in class by our clients. In-depth state-of-the-art analysis and scaled model tests help ensure that every platform is safe and durable, meeting or exceeding the expectations of our customer. Our worldwide procurement network and commodity management expertise help us obtain materials at competitive prices and in a timely manner. Above all, we have a proven track record for managing capital projects efficiently, effectively, and safely. All 14 Technip SPAR projects were completed within a month of the contract date for delivery and without compromising on safety. Every deep water operation represents a unique challenge. We can deliver the right solution on time, on track, and on budget, working safely one day at a time. <laughs>